What is up, everybody? It is Guy Smiley here, and welcome back to another Minifigure Mondays custom minifigure unboxing and review here. Uh, we have a minifigure that I got from eBay, actually, because that is the only place to get it in the United States, I believe. So we'll just get into this figure here. A really cool figure. I've been waiting kind of a while to buy this because um, I didn't have... It, it, it was kind of, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit pricey and, uh, you know, I wanted to, I, I felt like I would get a coupon code eventually because eBay, you know, eventually kind of puts out coupon codes uh, every once in a while. And uh, one day I was actually helping my dad use eBay because he has not really used it before. And uh, they, th they put on his account, uh, I don't know if it was because he just opened his account or if it was like a new account deal or something, but he got a $10 off coupon. So uh, that was pretty amazing. So I got $10 off of the total price of this figure here. Uh, so that was a really good deal. Definitely the, definitely the reason I was waiting to buy this. Uh, we have the minifigures.com Jon Snow minifigure. So a really cool minifigure. I, I became a big, big fan of Game of Thrones after watching all of the, like, every single season. I started watching it at the beginning of last summer, and then I finished it somewhere around uh, last fall. So uh, that was really cool to finally get to watch that series. I've, I heard a lot about it before I actually watched it, and of course it was almost over by the time I started watching it, so I was a little bit uh, behind on the, <laughs> the hype there. But uh, it's cool that they're still selling these minifigures. Uh, there is uh, four of them in stock currently on Nash Vegas's Bricks eBay store, which was the store that I bought this from. Uh, there might be a card in here. Yeah, Nash Vegas Bricks on eBay is where you can buy this figure. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you guys are a fan of Game of Thrones as well and you don't yet have a Jon Snow minifigure, you guys can pick one of these up if you want to. Um, I think that it's a pretty good, it's a pretty cool figure. We'll, we'll take a look at it in more detail uh, after I kind of get my initial thoughts we take a look at this. Uh, so here it is. It's black. It's kind of hard to see. I think I need to move the lights a little bit so you guys can see this better. There we go. There's the printing on it. So uh, that looks really cool. It looks very accurate to what he actually looked like in that, in about like the second half of that series after he got out of the Night's Watch and uh, became the King of the North. And uh, it does have a really cool packaging here. Um, really cool like clamshell plastic packaging. Very high quality. There's the back of it with some uh, cool, what does this say? The King of the North is ready to fight for the people of Brick Taros <laughs> against the encroaching frozen armies. Okay. So yeah, and uh, this is, I think this is, this is a company of, uh, that's created by Firestar Toys. I think this is like their own minifigure, custom minifigure company. So if you guys are in the UK, you can actually buy this from minifigures.com and um, get it shipped to you in the UK from Firestar Toys or Minifigures.com, I believe. I think they do have other Game of Thrones figures as well, because they do have some shown right there. Might have missed out on those, though, because I don't think that they're actually making very many more of these. Um, I think that what's on eBay right now might be the last of them. So here is what the figure looks like without the cape on. Um, as you can see, the printing looks uh, pretty good. It looks does you can see a little bit of graininess if you look at it very very closely, but uh, that I don't think that's a really big problem. I think that's just a side effect of the digital printing that they used on this. I think uh, it does have back printing as well, which uh, looks really good. And then he does have uh, two facial expressions as well. One kind of slightly angry face, and then one kind of uh, happier face, I guess you could say, or more just uh, just neutral face. Uh, so that's pretty cool to get. Uh, I think that the face, the, they did a great job designing the face on this figure because it does look very, it looks very similar to what he looks like in the show. You can definitely see the representation, which is a, pr a problem with a lot of custom minifigures sometimes is that you can't really see the uh, the likeness of like the actor or the character translated into the Lego version of the face very well, but I think they did a very good very good job uh, with this character here with Jon Snow. Uh, the hairpiece choice is a great is a great choice. I think it's like a perfect hairpiece for what his hair looked like in the second half of the Game of Thrones series. It is painted black. It's uh, I think it was it used to be like brown or something, so that's kind of interesting there. 
Uh, maybe this hair piece doesn't actually come in black, so they had to paint it black themselves. So here's what the figure looks like with the cape on. Uh, of course, it looks really awesome with the cape on. I really love this cape design. It looks like a really thick cape, and it's actually it looks like it's actually made of animal fur up here. Uh, it looks this looks like it's 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 actually a separate piece, but it, it, it's actually not. It's actually glued on there to the actual black part of the cape. So I would definitely recommend this figure to fans of Game of Thrones that don't already have a Jon Snow minifigure. I think that it is definitely the best one out there. I have seen a couple other versions of Jon Snow made in a custom minifigure form uh, from other companies. I'll put a couple of them on the screen right now. But I think that this is definitely the one that captures his likeness the best. At $28, I think it is just a little bit expensive for the amount of detail that you get because you do not get any side leg printing, you don't get any arm printing, it is just only front and back printing. But I don't think it's too bad. Um, I think that if you get a sale, you know, you could always wait for eBay to release maybe another coupon code. Every so often they do release like a $3 off or a $5 off. I have gotten coupon codes as well that only work if you use the app. So maybe you can download the app and see if they have any coupon codes on there. Uh, or you can just search on the internet for your coupon code and maybe you'll get lucky and find one. I think that I definitely would have bought this figure eventually at full price had I not found a coupon code on my dad's eBay account. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I, I think that this, that this figure is definitely going to go really awesome with the other Game of Thrones minifigures that I have. Um, I did do a, a review on these and unboxing on these uh, figures as well. You can click the link right there if you want to see the uh, review of the Lannister soldiers from Nice Bricks. Um, but be sure to leave a comment down below with your guys' thoughts on this minifigure. And be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.